What's going on, y'all? We are back with another video. Today is gonna be a fun one because we are using two of my favorite cameras, the Pentax 67 as well as the Mamiya RB67. We are here in Hollywood, California. I know it doesn't look like Hollywood. What the hell is that moving? Our model Toya is on her way. This will be my second fine art attempt. So I'm pretty excited about that. The title of this is Black Picnic. You know what I'm saying? The Pentax 67. I love this camera because it's mobile, it's lightweight, a more run and gun, medium format camera, which is hard to come by in medium format because the cameras are so large. And I love the clarity of their glass. The lenses are really great. Now we go to the Mamiya RB67. Now, this was the first medium format film camera I bought. I have the Prism Finder. I don't know how y'all be using the waist level viewfinder. I, I just don't understand how y'all use it. It's inverted. You have to go right to move left. It's just confusing. And you're kind of forced to shoot low. Rock with what you like. I have a bad eyesight, so I feel like it's, it's a little bit better for me for my eyesight. I'm able to get my eye close in there and see that viewfinder. I got the 90 millimeter on both. We're gonna use these things today and uh, we'll see what we get, man. Stay tuned. No, it's not really nothing in okay. there. So I know. <laughs> Do you have allergies? Three, two, one. Yeah, like if you can hold, flip it around. Yeah, there you go. Shit tight, huh? It is very tight. Am I folding over? God damn it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Bring it out. Yeah. Turn your head to the right a little more. A little more. In the center, a little bit more center, right there, right there. One more. Disheveled. Yeah, like I read them all. <laughs> wow. Damn, that look good. All right. Actually, I think I want to get a couple more. Um, I'm about to grab my other camera real quick. Sorry if I give y'all plumber ass. <laughs> you got all these goddamn cords. <laughs> all right, come well, on. I don't have to worry about you fall. You'll hook yourself on this. <laughs> all right. You think you're the arts, huh? Anything for it. All right. Yeah, no, he always dropped the camera. What's good with it, y'all? I'm an avid tea drinker, you know what I'm saying? This is that CBD tea. If you don't drink tea every morning, y'all gotta get y'all digestive system on point, so. I recommend it. A little hot, so I'm gonna set it down. So, the Pentax versus the Mamiya RB67. I'm gonna just keep it short and simple. Pentax wins all day. My Mamiya RB67, I just can't let go. I refuse to sell it because it was the first medium format camera I bought when I got into photography. The Pentax does win because of quality because of convenience and I can't get it out of my hands. It's just the shutter sound, the way it sounds. Every picture you take just sounds therapeutic. I don't know, man, I've scanned both negatives the same way, exact same way. And 
the quality is a bit better on the Pentax. Mamma Mia may be sitting on the shelf for a little while. Not saying I'll never use it because using the bellows to get really close to your subject and getting that sharp focus is something that you can't do on any other camera unless it has bellows. So when it comes to portraits, extreme close-up portraits or extremes of different objects, I will always use that camera. Now enough about that because it hurts me to have to even say that. Portrait 800 didn't do me wrong at all. I have oddly enough started to rock with Portra 800. When it gets to a point where I need a higher ISO film, I'll throw that Portra 800 in there. I feel like with the 800 speed film, man, it retains a lot more color than the 160s, the 400s. I don't mind the hint of extra film grain that you may get because it's a higher ISO film. I really don't even notice it, to be honest. With this shoot, we were fighting sunlight. I scheduled the shoot like a dumbass during golden hour right not throwing shots at any photographers i promise you especially on youtube when i first got into photography i was under the impression that it's best to shoot during golden hour and you can only get certain colors on film when you shoot in golden hour it's totally inconvenient number one because you're fighting sunlight when you're shooting in golden hour you literally have 30 to 45 minutes to get the shots that you need and then if your talent is late or things are running behind you're just fighting the sunlight and i'm not a fan of that it's almost ruined the last couple shoots that i have done outside thank god i had two rolls of portrait 800 on this shoot but i'm happy that i got what i got the moment toya got to the location the sun had gone so I was, I had about 30 minutes to get what I needed to get and it was done So I feel like shooting my homies have really taught me how to give direction with photography on both male and female uh, models. I commended myself because I'm getting really confident with the direction that I'm giving my talent. And that's really important, knowing your vision having an idea of what you want and being able to relay that to your talent. I think it's time for the tea again, you know what I'm saying? Y'all boys be drinking that soda pop, the tea a day. Fine art photography is something that I've watched my mentor do and it's something that I've fallen in love with. As an actor, I wanna be able to create a world and create a story through my images and I feel like fine art photography is the playing grounds to do that. Man, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of you who are subscribing to the channel, liking the videos and giving me feedback in the comments. It really does help me out, man. So any anything y'all have to say, I appreciate it and I will respond. Like I said, we still lowballing it. We still low, we still a small family, so I can see everything. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all next week. Y'all have a good one.